Alright, and welcome to Bloodlust Shadow Hunter. Now, this is a, a demo for a smaller indie game known as previously mentioned Bloodlust Shadow Hunter, and uh, it was the one of the developers, I believe, contacted me through the YouTube inbox, and they asked me to take a look at this and give my impressions on it and stuff like that, and I was like, sure, why not? That sounds like a fantastic thing to do. Um, if you like what you see, I, I don't know what this game is yet, um, but if you like what you see, you can go down in the description below. You can support it on Greenlight, because it's currently on Greenlight, and it's trying to get passed through there. And uh, you can go to their website and check out the demo for yourself, because I think the loot is procedurally generated, so that means it's like random every single run through. So, um, yeah, I'm excited to see what this game is about, so let's take a look at it. New game. Okay, it's a character creation or thing. So cube and then health. Select my breed, character type, and gender. Ooh. A dampia, a vampire, or a dampia. Now vampires are strong but need much blood. They must stay out of light and away from fire and silver. Dampier are half human as l and is not as strong as full vampires. Do not need to drink as much blood and have some resistance to light and fire. I think I'm gonna play with these guys. Uh, gender male or female? Whatever. Let's just go male. Um, warrior, witch, criminal, warrior, witch, criminal. Uh, criminal uses dexterity for thieving. Violent. Let's just go warrior. That sounds pretty good. Uh, so we can go into. We can put a bunch of stuff in here. Let's put one to strength, because that's always a good thing to do. Uh, vitality, charisma, dexterity, more vitality. There we go. That sounds good. Playing time, 12 seconds. Um, okay, this is looking interesting. Create new character. Don't try to attack strong enemies directly. Get a friend to help. Okay, it's loading now. So, I don't know how long this is going to take. Oh, what's this? Come closer, he says. <laughs> oh, it's a crow. Whoop a doop. Um, what is this? But yeah, as I said before, this was sent me through the YouTube inbox, which is kind of annoying because I didn't know about it for about four days. What is he sticking his hand in there for? Who is he? Why is he even here? You mean to click? Okay. Well, he's dead. I thought he was going to be important, but nope. He is gone. Did he mean to click that button? If so, he's kind of a dumb. Maybe that was just showing that there's an item there or something. Alright. Oh, that had actually kind of creeped me out. I assume we're in this coffin here. Right? Wake, Wake up. up. The early evening's dusk fades from view as a new moon rises. Ooh. Your memory is probably very weak since it's been many years of deep slumber from the embrace. I like the voice acting. You will grow stronger. Meet me at the tattoo shop back in town. I will explain everything. That face. Just the way. To watch over you through these long years. Seek him out should you need any guidance from the ruins. That face really reminded me of the Megusta uh, meme face. Jesus. Tutorial mode. Bloodlust can be tricky for new players, as in certain skills and objects need to be used in order to complete quests, find secret doors, avoid traps, and solve puzzles. Tutorial mode is strongly recommended for new players. Uh, yeah, why the hell not? Tutorial mode. Zoom in and out with mouse scroll wheel. Okay. Looks like we're controlling our character now. We have a flashlight. Tutorial line. Keep an eye out for flashing icons at the top of the screen. You may have a new quest or some points to spend. Oh, there's a flashing icon. How do I... How do I release my mouse to click on it? Um... 
Whoops. Brezzy. Oh, to free the mouse. There we go. Skills. Hint. Probably should try to get these other skills rather than put more points in a bite. Oh, that makes sense. So can I get Frenzy or Spirit Summon? Ooh, Spirit Summon sounds cool. Summon a crow to attack higher level. Oh, Summon a crow. Awesome. Well, there we go. Now I have a Spirit Summon thing. Vampire Gaze. Trigger Levers. Supernatural Armor. Drink to heal and sire. Sire. Okay. Summon a crow to attack. Oh, that's fancy. Use hotkeys 1, 2, 3 to use skills on the bottom of the hotbar. Let me use 4. Oh, it's a bird. I'm a bird, mother... I'm a bird. Oh, does it follow me around? Oh, that's pretty cool. Hold on. Uh, press 1, 2, 3. Yeah, I already... Vampire's gaze is very important. Okay. Thank you for letting me know about that. Which mouse mode? Mouse 1 steers all the time, but you... Use hockeys. That's two cursors available to click on icons. Oh, okay, so they're asking me uh, which one. Tell me my uh, my abilities. What, who is this guy? Talk with the ancient statue. That's a statue. No, that's Varrock. Fletchley, how was your sleep? Very good. Thank you for asking. Um. Did you say something? No, you couldn't have. Your lips are sewn shut. Who are you? Oh, cool. So it has like multiple uh, dialogue things. That's pretty neat. My name is Badock. I am the caretaker here in the ruins. How are you talking to me? You're not opening your mouth. You're a little confused, no. Quite normal in these circumstances. Side effects from the bite, perhaps. The bite? What bite? You are no longer mortal, I'm afraid. Your blood oh. has been tainted with the bite from a night feeder. What? What are you saying? I'm a vampire Not now? Exactly yet. Only a fledgling, but on your way. You will need to feed and grow your bloodline if you are to survive here in the ruins. Hmm. Just get to the point, old Find man. The statue of the ancients. The spirit will guide your path to the exit of this dark place. Also see Sarah. She is the only trader here. Let me see if I can persuade him. Any chance you could put in a good word about me to your clan? I huh? see you learn quick, Fledgley. Awesome. Using your power of persuasion. Bring me the sword stone located deep within the dungeon. And I will grant you some reputation with my clan. I mark the location on your map. All right. Well then, now we have to get him a sight stone or something? I mean, a sword stone. That shouldn't be too hard. Can I break this? Right click. Book of lore, hints, hints and strategy. Okay. Well, there's nothing in there now. That's good. Um, this seems like very mmo -y. Like, pretty damned mmo -y. I'm not saying that's a bad thing, I'm just... What is that thing? Oh shit, that's an enemy. I killed it. I took a wolf tooth. Yeah. Who is this? Looks like some punk. Hey, look. Sleeping Beauty is finally awake. That was your nap. You no, know me. Not really. But I did see you sleeping earlier when I took a peek inside your coffin. I'm sorry, but I was searching for blood fragments, and that's usually what you find inside dead vampire coffins. I didn't find any, but I did notice a few items next to your coffin. I didn't touch them, though, but I was curious who left that weapon and flashlight for you. Yeah. Why are you looking for the blood fragments? Oh, man. You must have been asleep a long time. Blood fragments are very, very valuable. Just be uh -huh. glad you didn't have one for me to steal, huh? <laughs> me and a few other guys have been uh, hired as excavators to find all the fragments in these ruins. Alright, well, good luck with that. If you come, if you try to steal something from me, though, I will stab you multiple times. Just letting you know. There's a secret door here, but you need the secret sight skill in order to uh, see it. Help Machina, and he will help you. Oh hey, my God! Look. Really? Sleeping Beauty? No. Oh man! Oh, I'm just waiting for those wolves to go away. One of them tore up my Oops. leg pretty bad. 
Man, uh, once they lock on, they just don't let up. I even lost the full bag of blood jewels while trying to escape those creatures. Which mm -hmm. reminds me, if you happen to find a bag of jewels, how about bringing it back here, huh? Persuade, I couldn't help but smell wine on your breath. A boost might get me motivated. Uh, sure, take it. It's probably attracting those Ooh. wolves close to me anyway. Yeah, also, if you need any lockpicks or keys, you might want to find Sarah. She set up a temporary trade shop to provide supplies for the excavators in the area. Alright, thanks. So now I need to get a bag of jewels for this guy. Alright. Uh, find Machina's bag. Can I open this? I, can't, I don't have any lockpicks. Well, son of a biscuit. What's over here? Nothing. Whole lot of nothing. What's down this? I don't think I've gone down here yet. No, I haven't. Oh, it's a zombie. Well, thanks, crows. They aren't helping me at all. I'm starting to think it was a useless skill to upgrade into that. That's oh, fine. Oh, zombies. Surprise attack. Ooh, what the hell was that? Oh, I gained a level. That's what that was. Okay, that's a strong That attack. door is tricky and won't stay open. But the there is a way. Shoot vampire's gaze into the doorway, and then step off the plate right before you trigger the lever. Mm. What plate? Wait a second. This thing. Oh, shoot vampire's gaze. Okay, where's vampire's gaze? There it is. Oh my. What the hell did I just do? Okay. Okay, I think I think this is what it meant. I hit three and it shoots vampire's gaze. Oh, I can control it with a mouse. Oh poop. Okay, 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 here we go. Oh, uh, that's not where I wanted to go. Um who okay. What is this thing? What is that? Go Oh I died. Note to self, you can't Indiana Jones under that. Uh, load last save. Load last save game. This might actually start me back at the beginning. Um, yes, I think it did, in fact. Did it? No, okay. I have to find Machina's bag. That just means I have to go back over here. Through here. Past this weird tiki thing, and there's a zombie. There we go. Special. Uh, can I summon a crow to help me out? Maximum crows allowed. Damn. I'm gonna go up here instead of the other way. Because I died last time. Ooh, gold. Converted to dollars. Awesome. I will take that to the bank. Literally. Like, there's a bank. Ouch. You get hurt by rolling into stuff. What does that sound? Huh. I think my cr Ow! What the- Oh, it's a leech. That's what was hurting me. Or more? I'm gonna die to leeches. Oh my god. I almost died to leeches. Well, balls. Can I heal myself? Hmm, not that I know of. I think I have that iron aura stuff around me. Oh no. Help me. Yeah. Oh, he killed me. Well, this game is getting a little bit brutal, isn't it? Jeez. Man. Um, okay, that's not the place I want to be, right? No, okay. Loaded to safe location. But you have been placed in a safe area away from enemies and traps. I see. That's pretty neat. Stab. At least I know I can kill him, and then a zombie should come down here, right? Surprise me. Alright, alright, alright. So. That door is tricky. 
and won't stay open. But there is a way. Shoot vampire's gaze into the doorway, and then step off the plate right before you trigger the lever. Okay. Shoot vampire's gate and then step off the plate right before I trigger the level. I mean, lever. Okay, so where's the lever? That's my question. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, this is bad. There. I stabbed him. No, this is not a bad game. Not at all. I'm glad that uh, that this game was brought to my attention through the the indie develop. Oh, there's a lever. I'm a dumb. All right. Whop. There we go. So now I should be able to just walk through here. So, oh, zombies! These guys are getting easy to take out. I have prone. Right click to disarm trap. Wait. Oh, I was poisoned. Son of a... Note. Statue of knives. Place a knife into the chest. I click to read. Place a knife into the chest and the statue will slide revealing the rest. A dagger won't do, so don't even try. The statue can tell when people are sly. I need a knife, not a dagger. And I believe all I have is a dagger. Right? No, I have a knife. Okay. Well, can I use it? I probably can't use it. In other words, probably not a good idea. Here. So I take it. Take my knife out. I put my knife in here. And I put. Whoops. Here we go. Puzzle solved. Huzzah. Can I take the knife out? Yes, I can. Put that back on my character. And now I have stabby action. Oh, a zombie tried spawning behind me and scaring me. Well, screw you, buddy. Hell yeah. What is in here, then? What were they trying to hide from me? Oh, a disarm trap. Oh, no. Oh, I, I did it. Awesome. Rusty knife. I think that's better than my current knife, so... What's this say? All blocks must add to a secret sum to open the passage where the chest is won. Days in a week is a number that must match. By rotating blocks to a cog will unlatch. Where a door will unlock providing a path and a chest if disarmed can reward your, reward your good math. But not your good grammar because I have terrible mean speech. Good, uh, what is this? I click to turn that on. Oh no, it's closing me in. Well, hope I can turn it off. Okay, good. Whew. That would, uh... That was... Oh boy, rotating blocks. Blocks set to one. Oh, this is bad. What do I do? I have to add them to seven, I think it said. Right. Oh, two, and then that's probably three. Three. I don't know, it was four. F uh, yeah. Uh, well, that works. I just had to seven, and then sevened. You know, I gotta say, I'm really good at puzzles, which is kind of amazing. A key. Awesome. Big knife, strong blade, gold. Well then. Isn't that interesting? How are we gonna move on out of this hellhole? Let me pick up his life force. Well, I didn't know that dropped in a small pouch, but... I'll take it. Oh, so apparently the rusty knife is worse than my current knife. That is unfortunate. This is plus 8 damage difference, though, so... I don't know about that. What is this, then? Dungeon key? Open random dungeon areas. 
uh, a key to use to unlock gates. So where do I have to go to unlock this said gate? Let me take a look here. Okay, so I'm back in this hub area with Mr. Varrock here. Um, I think I came up from there, so I'm gonna check out this area. Oh god, what is that? You can bite and sire to build your army. Try biting the bum. Press one key, then come back when he is awake to issue orders. The sire troop window. Positioning for best bite. Aww. You poor son of a bitch. Hmm. Walter added to Sire Tree. Sire tab at bottom of skills. Whoops, I keep wanting to escape. Uh. Skills. Sire Tree. Awesome. So, me. So. Oh, I see how this is. Bum Walter was bitten by me. And I was bitten by an unknown, and unknown was bitten by who the hell knows. He probably isn't all that great of a, uh, come here, attack and protect, look for new blood, stop, find the loot. I'll just have him find loot, that sounds good. Increases strength, that sounds amazing. Behavior, activate... Pressure plates, save me if separate find me if separated. Run of hurt. There we go. I'll just have I'll tell him to run of hurt. That's pretty awesome. I like that. You can you can turn other people into uh, vampires and they'll listen to you. That's pretty awesome. I can't wait to see how that'll be uh how that'll be built upon in the future. Widow's web. Uh creature strength. Stance of stone. Talent and creature strength required. Oh, I see. So this is... Oh, this is like three different paths then. Path of the ninja. Stealth detected distance increase. Extra inventory page. Um, I'll just take the widow's web. Oh, I, I don't have enough. Oh, okay. Wild balls. Uh, hint probably should try out the other skills. Yeah, I already read that. So, what is this? Scroll up. Scroll down. I don't have any other tel <coughs> skills. So, that's good. Teleport to a specific point. Move twice as fast while walking or running. I want that. Gimme. Thank you. Awesome. So, now... I'm gonna look at my character thing. Oh, I can spend my stuff. Vitality is always good. Charisma. Strength. Dexterity. More vitality. Why the hell not? And I think, now that I have 20 strength, I can use, yep, I can use my, uh, my really good thing. Right here. My really good knife. Awesome. Oh my goodness, this thing is big. I guess that's why it's called Big Knife. Makes sense. So if I see any more bums lying on the ground, I can always bite them. Spiders in the vase. Die spiders. Nobody likes you. Empty bottle used to make potions. That sounds good. What is that thing? I pushed a button, and a door opened. You found a secret area. Notice that all the security areas contain labor to close the door behind you. You might want to keep enemies out or possibly trap them inside. Ah, I see. I'll close the door then. I wonder if there'll ever be a point in time where I... Where I, uh, I get trapped in here and I'm not able to... Oh, that's not good. Oh, two of them now. Well then, where I'm trapped inside and I'm not able to do anything. Dark zombie. Still does in two hits. Not very much of a threat. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let me see. Dungeon. Ooh, I don't know if I'm ready for that. I'm gonna check out what's going on over here and then I'll enter it. Let me stab him. Where'd we go? 
Stabbing a bunch of people. This is fantastic. I'm gonna save real quick. Uh, I can't save. Damn it. Oh, what the hell is this? A shadow spawn. I'll keep hitting him with my special... Oh god, he's gonna kill me. Oh no, I killed him. What is that? Click take. Old ring. Is it worth it? Let me check. I'm going to use a healing potion. Uh, and open this big chest. Grenade. Wooden stake. Oh, I don't have a crossbow. The wooden stake is projectiles for said crossbow. So if I find a crossbow, I might be able to make use of it. But until then, I don't know. That's a zombie down there, isn't it? Let me kill him. Stab. Step. Stab. Got a glyph of a half moon. I don't have enough stamina to do special attacks. Oh, I see. That green bar at the bottom is my stamina bar. It recharges very slowly, though. So I'm going to enter this dungeon and check out what it's got for me. What? Is this a randomly generated dungeon that is different each time you visit? Press X for the overlay map and don't get lost. 3% of the dungeon explored, 0% of containers found, 0% secrets found. Inside this trap. Awesome. Dungeon key. A scroll of identify and blue eyes. What does the blue eyes do? The blue eyes. Converts life force to attack damage. Huh. Hold on. Dungeon key required. Awesome. So let's see what is in this dungeon here. I'm gonna close that back up and see. Can I close that? No, I can't. Oh well. What is that thing? Oh, it's just rubble. Oh god. I was not expecting that. Okay, well, balls. Let's continue on this dungeon. Let's brave the dungeon. Um, you know, so far I'm really liking this game. It feels like it's blending some awesome MMO elements with, uh, with other elements of other games that I don't really... Like, most of the time I just don't enjoy, but this game is making them feel awesome. I'm gonna take the ring. This note. What does the note say? If you're ever lost, make sure to read your journal or map to find your need, with hints that are written through the ages, found by those who search its pages. That's pretty neat. Like, stuff, that's pretty cool, too. I'm gonna take that herb. Close that. And see what's in this barrel. Life force. Okay. Let's search a sarcophagus too. Dungeon key. Like the randomly generated dungeons are really awesome to have. It's third person fighting game. I'm gonna actually show this off to a couple of my friends who uh I know one of my friends did a Vampire of the Masquerade let's play and I'll link that down in the description below if anybody's interested in that so he might enjoy this type of game too because it's it's kind of in the same um in the same vein boots of stealth eight dexterity five fire resistance that's pretty good oh god am I dying I am from a thing that I one hit well <laughs> Oh, and I can control Walter down there. I, have, I can press L to cycle through commands. I'll just leave him to search for loot, because that seems... Oh, everything's dead now. I'm really glad that I have the sword. It's making the game easier. Oh, wait. What was that? Oh, I got a glyph half moon. Alright. You can hit E to pick up everything around you. And the game isn't looking it doesn't look the prettiest, like it's not the prettiest looking game, but it's good enough to get the job done and I'm sure that uh 
like they can improve on it I'm pretty sure if they wanted to they could always improve on it but it's mainly it's mainly the uh, it's mainly the gameplay that I'm interested in like your game can look terrible but as long as you have good mechanics and gameplay in it then it's fine with me as long as like you know not complete pixels like Atari 2600 age type stuff then I'm fine with it uh, let me put on this ring and a golden ring that's useless that's useless I'm trying to find things that actually change my attributes not something that is just stupid okay let me see here. A glyph. What do these do? Insert in equipment. Adds three bonus. Oh, I can insert into equipment. So these are basically like, uh, gems in Sword of the Stars of Pits. Or no, not gems. Modifiers. Weapon modifiers. Yeah. That's actually self-explanatory, but, meh. 21% of the dungeon explored. Don't they say X? Oh, yes. oh, shit. <sighs> Goddamn game. That actually freaked me out. Like that was that was a pretty good that was a pretty good jump scare that they had there. I don't know if you could even call it a jump scare though, it was Ugh. Goddamn pants. Yeah, sure, I'll take the pants. Uh God, man. That really rattled me. Okay, I'm gonna put these pants on. So I actually have pants on. Even though I have a an awesome looking trench core coat on. So that's probably not searchable. Going down this dungeony type area. I like that it's randomly dungeon I mean generated. That's always a neat feature to have. As long as the randomly... Oh, I'm starting to get FPS drops. Like, where it just drops down to zero. It's probably because it's, um... It's loading... Loading the area around me. Take the gold, and that. And I, I can equip that all at any time. So I'm, I'm gonna leave that because it's just a rusty knife. It's useless to me. Put that in there. And now I have extra bonuses. Stamina boost. I'll take that with me. And I think I'm gonna head out of the dungeon now. Because... I have a bunch of stuff. I don't wanna lose it. You shut up, snakes. Um... Crap, I can't see the map. Maybe the map should be easier to see when it's in this overlay mode because as it is currently it's kind of a little tiny bit difficult to see it when it's up against the wall I'm gonna go down this hallway this giant ginormous hallway and it's a dead end so I'm gonna leave as soon as possible so I don't get jumped by anything I saw a loot item here elixir Good, good with me, fine with me. That's all right with me. I've explored 50% of the dungeon. That is good enough for me to get the hell out of this place. So I don't get jump scared by that, uh, by any more zombies that I can just one hit anyway, so. Yeah. If I can even find my way out, which I hope I'm going the right way. There are those snakes again, so I am going the right way. Yes, I am. Awesome. Awesome. Oh. Well then. Uh, go back out here. And, uh, yeah. Let me take a look at something real quick. Okay. Okay. Let me take a look at his face. I can't see his face. I can only see his eyes. Yeah. Well, that's, um... Don't want to see that at the end of your bed. Oh, I, there's a mini-map now. Goddamn there's all these. There we go. There's a mini-map. Ooh. 
I wonder. Does the mini map show me where to go to complete my quests? I think it does. Who is this? That was Walter. Okay, well, Walter disappeared. Oh no, it just shows me. Fletchley, I can see you are a little yeah. confused now. I bet you have some potions I could. you could sell. Here's the stone sword you asked for. Give stone Good sword. Job, stranger. But you can keep it. Awesome. Will help you enhance your weapon. Thanks. Well, that quest was completed. Uh, let's go talk to this other person over here. I believe his name was Markatakati. If I remember correctly, probably pronouncing that wrong, but it's fine with me. Oh. What was that? Jump to ledge. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, that should... I didn't know I could do that the first time. Bag of jewels. Oh, the quest item. Oh, my inventory is full. Okay. I'm gonna swap those out. Take the gold. And leave the rusty thing out. Well, there we go. Now I can go back to that guy and give him his bag of jewels and get my reward. Stab. Stab, stab. Awesome. Now he's dead. Ah, have I have you your found jewels. My bag yet? Yes. Is this your bag? Thanks. Since you helped me out, I guess I could teach you secret sight. It's a skill that helped me find a few fragments, and it might help you find whatever you're looking for, too. Oh, really? Can teach it to you. Uh, sure. Why the hell not? There you go. Give that a try. In fact, I think there's a secret wall over there behind me. Okay. And I assume I can just hit six. And this is a fake wall. Alright. Huh. That's pretty neat. I like that. Back up and use Vampire's Gaze Skill to... To control an orb with the mouse, try fly, try to fly up and through the wall to trigger the lever. Up and through the wall. What? What does he mean? Oh, that. Okay. Three. Na -na -na -na. I did it. Oh Jesus! Kind of panics me. Oh, okay. So. Ooh, what is that thing? Oh Jesus Christ! Well, I think I stepped on a lever, and I got blasted with a fireball. I'm going to find out what the hell that purple thing was, though. Oh, no, I have to... I have to go for this one. Okay, well, I'm probably going to cut this out until I get to, uh, to that guy again. And I use the gaze of doom. Alright, so I got back here, and, um... So I'm guessing I don't want to step on that platform. So what do I need to do to jump over it? Okay, I jumped over it. Right click to take fragment. So now I have a fragment. I have no idea what it does. It's gold ring. Useless. Use secret site to exit. To exit what? Secret site. Well, that was... Yeah, so we can just we just got a fragment. Isn't that interesting? Let's take that random shit. So, um, Varrock here. Uh, I'm gonna end here. I'm gonna end the video here with Varrock. I don't know, I might come back and look at this game some more. I'm just kind of tired right now. It's been a long day. Uh, had some things to do. But, uh, yeah, this game is so far looking... Looking pretty awesome. I uh, I want to see what the future builds are like, and I'm gonna definitely go vote for it on green light. Uh, thank you for the if you're watching this, the person who sent me this brought this game to my attention. The uh, one of the indie developers on this game, it's very much appreciated, and uh, I'll probably be taking taking a look at this game more in the future. Don't forget to go and vote for it on Greenlight. I'll link that down in the description below, and I'll also link the uh, 
to their page where you can download this demo for free so you can play it by yourself and you can see if you like the game before you go and support it on green light but yeah other than that I just wanted to uh, say thanks for watching I hope you enjoy the video and goodbye oh please please yes companion ah oh, damn it <laughs> hey you should have invited me over I would have helped you uh, well, you should have known by instinct. I hate you. Both. I heard oh yes, and I turned to run over and join you, but I didn't get there in time. Damn it! Let's just get this bucket of water, oh, Tim. Too close. You could have been bitten. I'm really sorry. About so there's that. zombies. Have given you a weapon or you yeah, you should have. You really should have. Okay, right? didn't, didn't get bit. Take your damn water. You got some water. That's a positive. Um. Let's get back in. <laughs> Should I go down there and get the water? <laughs>